Welcome back to Kung Fu Maintenance. Well, as you might have noticed, I've been uh, using a new uh, recording software called Cyberlink Power Director. And let's see, we will bring this up here. Here's the program itself. And what I wanted to show you is how to review your video full screen. I've been working on a video about air hammer, sounds of air hammer or water hammer. Uh, air hammer is not a technical word, but anyway, what I wanted to show you is how to view your video full screen. Uh, with this program, uh, Power Director. What you do is you hit this little button, unlocks the preview, and then you hit this big square, and that brings you full screen, as you can see. And then you can play your video and watch it back full screen to make sure everything is the way that you want it. And uh, so just thought I'd do a quick video showing people how to do that. I noticed no one else had done a video on it. And when you want to close it, you got to click this little screen, and then uh, you got to click right here to redock it. To redock it back on your panel and now everything's back to normal. And again if you want to view it full screen, the, the uh, program has kind of a lot of cool effects and stuff, just been messing around, kind of having fun. But anyway, you're going to again unlock the preview window, hit this full screen button, and go ahead and hit play. Now uh, when you want to get out of it, you can actually you can push the little X button there or you can actually push the escape button on your keyboard. Push the escape button once, that gets you out of it. Redock it, and then you're back to normal, back to your normal editing functions. Pretty cool program. Um, some tricky stuff on it. Uh, I noticed, uh, just as a quick thing, when you're in the movie mode, you can watch your entire movie. If you hit stop, it brings you all the way back to the beginning, which can be kind of annoying when you're editing. So, you know, you go in to edit something, I'm like, oh, I discovered I need to edit this or that or the other thing and I want to jump back to that spot, oh man, it puts you all the way back at the beginning and now you're going to have to re-scrub back to your spot. So what I found instead is learn to use the pause button instead. You know, when you want to edit something and you find something you want to edit, hit the pause button and then just back up a little bit and then you can edit out your portion, whether it's audio or video or whatever you want to do. Um, but I sort of like have to retrain myself to use the pause button because I've used a lot of other programs. Hope to be getting into more video editing uh, program tips. This one was on how you can actually uh, view your video in full screen with PowerDirector. I've used so many different programs uh, that I th think it would be cool to do, you know, a lot of video editing uh, tutorial type things, you know, or tips and tricks uh, that I figured out over the time that I've used some of these things. Anyway, if you'd like to see more of those, let me know in the comments that you'd like to see more on video editing uh, or more videos like this. And hit the like button, that lets me know. Also, a simple way to let me know that you'd like to see more like this. Uh, and if you don't, well, hit the, hit the dislike button. <laughs> that lets me know. Or leave it in the comments, no, I'm not interested. Maybe, uh, you know, recommend that I do a separate channel on that subject if you think that's what I should do. Uh, I'm not sure. I. I think I can be more effective by keeping uh, most everything on one channel, but you know, if you think it'd be better that I did those things on a separate channel, let me know that in the comments below too. Uh, I'd really like to know what you guys think. Thanks for watching Kung Fu Maintenance. Over now. A quick search of my YouTube channel, you should be able to find a bunch of material that'll be helpful to your maintenance needs and links to tools and parts used in the videos can be found in the descriptions below.